This is Fuzzy Motion, and this is our, we'll just say, second attempt at uh, reviewing True Blood Season 5, Episode 4. I don't know what it was called. Um, anyway, Who cares? Who um, cares? Mr. Shields is joining me again this week. Um, so, you want to explain why you weren't here? Mainly just the frat parties. A um, lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. Um, let's get right down to brass tacks, though. Anyway, okay, anyway, look, before the season started, what I wanted from this show is that if it was going to be a mess, which it has been, a mess, mm. at least be entertaining. And it was. It has been entertaining for a couple of weeks. This episode actually added drama to it, which the show technically is a drama. Um, so it was kind of like a double upgrade. Almost, and it, the drama kind of landed in the relationships of the characters, which again, you know, is kind of stunning for this show because there's a lot of characters that just you don't like, or there's just too many. But in the case of this week, I think it was a big, it was it was just a big plus, especially in the relationships of um, the uh, the vampire like Maker and um, and their progeny. So, uh, what do you think about that? No, I, I, I enjoyed that a lot, actually. Okay. That was, like, one of the big pluses about this whole episode is, you know, you got to see a lot of drama between um, how uh, Eric and Pam were reacting or interacting with one another and then how uh, Bill and Jessica were, intera were interacting with one another. Yes. And I think the big thing that really made this episode was um, when, you, when you take uh, an entity such as a vampire and you pose it with certain mortality... Um, after it's been living for hundreds and hundreds of years, it, it's interesting to see how they react to that sort of thing. Because, you know, human beings, we all know we're going to die. But a vampire just thinks in the back, yeah, yeah, thinks in the back of its mind, it's like, I'm going to live forever, fucking, you know, bring on the blow. It's cool. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh heroin. When, yeah, yeah, that's what that was. No, it was co cocaine. What I was referencing, or bath salts. I know. I, I know. was. I was taking. I was saying heroin. That's the next level. Oh man, well, you know, it's gateway drug. Anywho, it it was nice to see those sort of entities posed with certain threat because they had those like you know stake monitors on their chest and things like that. And, you know, at any moment somebody could yeah. uh, you know push a button on an iPhone. Which, oh by the way, the way that. That, that that dude is holding the phone. Like, I think about how many times I, I yeah, pressed the wrong means, button. Uh, I think Roman or Christopher Maloney, who plays the main, the head of the authority. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that. I was just like, what if he pressed the button by accident? Like, it's, it's, it, you, you can't hold your eye. Like, I have Whoever an has an iPhone. iPhone knows that's an easy slip up. That's an easy, easy fuck up. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. I fucking press the wrong button all the time. I didn't want that app. No, I don't want to go on there. No. Fucking. No, not Facebook. Go to Twitter. No, not Twitter. Go to Instagram. No, exactly. not Instagram. Go to, you know, no. Pornhub.com. Don't stake. Don't stake vampires. No. Stake vampires. Oh no. no, wait, no, no. Oh I don't shit, want no, that. no. Undo, undo. Anyway, wait. Anyway, um, as we were saying, the relationships were the good thing about the episode. Let's mm -hmm. start with uh, there were three strong dramatic scenes which yes. carried weight this episode. Yes. Uh, Two of which I already mentioned. Yeah, the Pam, know, yeah, the Pam yeah, yeah. and Eric thing, yeah, and, Pam and the Bill Eric, and the Bill, Bill and Jessica, Jessica, and then Alice Seed and um, Debbie's parents. All right, now so this now. one was like the weakest of the three, but you're gonna explain why. So well, go ahead. Yeah. all right, yeah, I guess we'll all right, we'll start with Alice Seed and and and, um, and Debbie's parents. The reason why it was the weakest was not because the scene was bad. In fact, the scene was actually really well acted mm. and really well done. Yeah, um, I was really impressed. However, the problem with it is that the scene lost weight later in the episode. When Suki was just drunk and he just went over to her place, and um, now yes, drunk Anna Paquin was, you know, very uh, satiable. Yeah, and very charming, and just yes. a, lot, a lot of fun. Um, which, uh, yeah, <laughs> I just yeah. Um, but uh, it just kind of he was just kind of like into it really quickly. Mm. Um, and she even made like a joke about like, oh well, yeah. I killed you know Debbie, and he just kind of laughed it off. And, like, dude, yeah, he was just like, like no, bawling man. about it. We, we laugh about things that are funny. I yeah, mean, you know, like yeah. there are certain topics that we can laugh about. I won't list them because you'll probably unsubscribe. But still, that was not one of them. 
You know what I mean? Like, if somebody throws that in your face, you expect to hear that, like, you know, dung thing in the background. Yeah, like, yeah. Something, something like, happened. oh, well, you know, I'm here for the drinks. I'm here for the drinks. What? Let's bang, you know? Yeah. And I totally called it towards the end of the episode. I was like, oh, they're going to bang, and then Bill's going to walk in on them. Well, yeah. he didn't walk in, but he saw them. He saw them. So did Eric. Yeah. It so a bonus. It was, yeah, it was nice to see that, you know, Eric and Bill are just going to use Sookie. And, and, you know, any man should do what a woman. Because I said, I said last week, no, love triangle. No. No. no, 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 no. no. Like, I said what? last, but no. I said last week the love triangle is just completely played out. Yeah. No, so it's we're not gonna get that. Yeah. They're just gonna use her. Which is that better? In the the realm of humanity, of course not. However, no. um, for the show, it's fantastic. So um, mm-hmm. we'll take that. Now, as far as the two vampires, Eric and Bill, um, Eric's relationship with Pam, um, because of how well they've used Pam this season. Finally, thank God they've used Pam well. Um, her flashbacks and her making Tara and all that stuff, it made the scene where Eric, you know, kind of let her go just land so much more emotionally because we've seen all this stuff. And that's good writing, which good. I am stunned that they've been able to do that. This is true yeah. blood we're talking about. Think of season think of season four and think of that scene, this this episode. It was nowhere to be found last season. Or maybe even season well, some stuff in season three, I guess, but it just, it was fantastic. Fantastic. I agree. I'm okay, sorry. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, furthermore, I think, yeah. Um, I watched none of season four. Okay, so that's, right, that's right, that's yeah. right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Tara. I was not the biggest fan of Tara basically after season one. Uh, I, I haven't I've, I've enjoyed her. S- what? I've loved Tara since season one. Yeah, for the same reason. Uh, I've loved her for those reasons too, but it's not. What? Forget it. No, no, it. no. Forget no. it. Um, I have lost train of thought. Tara. Oh, Tara. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, she's just a lot of fun as a vampire, and her like her anger, her depression, mm. has turned into this rage that is kind of fun to watch and it's entertaining and she's a wild card and the relationship with her and pam is a fun one yeah pam's got this new motivation she wants to be like you know mama vampire and then you know tara's like i want to kill myself no and they ended that quick which is another good thing they were able to start and end storylines this season fast yeah like things it's not doesn't take three weeks to get to the payoff of something it takes one week which this show needs Yes. Awesome on that. Yeah. Um, oh, Sam. All right, uh, fine. We'll talk about Sam. Yeah. Sam. Before, we, we get there. Yeah, yeah. before oh. I forget, um, Sam just yeah. you know kind of has a storyline where you know his whole you know, shapeshifter uh, cult is you know yeah upset those, are, those are characters that were minor characters from last season that and showed up and they were just what happened? whatever they got killed off. Good. Thank God. Good. It's almost like somebody was watching our show. Yeah. And said this is what needs to happen, and it did. Anyway, so, um, happy. and it's, it's a story yeah, like who did it, who killed him, and why. I love who done it. There we go. One time I read this one, who done it, like in fourth grade, and I, it worked out really well. Goosebumps. Uh, yeah, goosebumps. Okay. R.L. The um, oh boy. <laughs> the uh, moving on. Let's go to Bill and uh, Jessica for a moment. Um, oh, by the way, is it funny to you that Bill's never wanted to like screw Jessica aside from like the mustache? See, and and. and and she did have yes, a mustache. Yes, she has I saw a it in mustache. HD, it's and HD. it's there. It's, it's fucking there. Look, you Deborah cannot Ann deny it. We're HD snobs, and I'll tell you right now, it was there. Deborah Ann Wool, who plays Jessica, is gorgeous. And, oh, gorgeous, uh, absolutely. And, and I would uh, treat I her a to a very nice steak dinner any day of the week. But still, you had a mustache, we don't. Yeah. You really did. So do I. But anyway. You have mustaches in places. That... No, no, no. <sighs> That's going to hurt. Mm. All right, anyway. Yeah, go ahead, commenters. Go just, 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 just go ahead. Tear it apart. Um, the scene with Bill and Jessica was actually really nice, much like the scene with Eric and Pam. Um, and the idea of like Bill as a maker, knowing he may lose, he may, he may die, and he's gonna leave her. Tell and he's told her like I, you know, I've done well. Um, it was just, it was just like a nice, like just nice scene, well done, just well acted, yep. and just um, they've always been good with Bill and Jessica on the show. But it, it made if, for good sentiment. Yeah, but yeah, and it felt like a part of the show instead of like the one good like sentiment, like you just said. But yeah. um, 
that plus the Eric and Pam thing, it just really worked. It felt so much more just put together. I'll tell you what. So, yeah. When, uh, when we first started watching the show, I remember you told me, you were like, when you're explaining true blood to people, you got to explain three things. Just say three things you got to be prepared for. Three things. You got to be prepared for this. You got to be prepared for boobs, gay, and gore. And as long as you're ready for all three of those things you're every fine. single episode, every week, you're yeah, good. You know, you're yeah. good. But we've been treated to so much more drama. This, well, this especially this episode, yeah. Yeah, especially the, that it makes it like a fun, a, a much more fun yeah, ride. Yeah, I think at like 9.49, yeah. I looked down at the clock, I was like, fuck, this is almost over. Uh, yeah, that, uh, I haven't, yeah. I haven't say that about True Blood. Right. I say that about other shows. Yeah. Um, but, uh, wait, before we get to the, the ending and those characters, who are we missing? The Authority. We didn't talk about The, the Authority. authority. Yeah. It was so nice to see somebody die. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, we kind of figured that, uh, when she, you know, she was a sanguinista, okay, you know, maybe it was Well, contrived. the thing is, yeah, someone on the comments last week, but I, I don't remember your name, but, um, mentioned that, uh... No, I haven't looked at oh, okay. But, um... Uh, whoever the girl is that that, that banged Eric and uh, Bill last week, um, big titty British accent woman. You can first find it middle on last I, name. Yep, that's, that's her right. name on IMDb. Exactly. Look it up. Um, it's there. Or just go to True Blood and figure it out the much easier way. Uh, was it the harder way? IMDb. That's it's, what she it's, says. it's difficult. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. what was I saying? Big oh right, that's right. Yeah. British accent. No, she. Um, She's clearly the head of the Sanguinista uh, movement. Well, we I think clear. I think it's clear. That. I think you, it's clear. You, you know, you I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's clear. All right. Wild say, this theory way. number two. No. You think? What was one? No, uh, one was that the judge in the the Andy and uh, you know Andy Belfler and uh, Stackhouse thing were, was like a vampire fucker, and I made that on Twitter. By the way, if you don't already follow us on Twitter, you should go ahead and follow us on Twitter because we make live posts about what's happening. In the show, during the show, and if you don't have HBO, like I don't, like this guy does, you should follow us to see what's happening as it's actually happening. It's a fun time. And, you know, comment back, tell us where it is. It's fun. You lost, you don't know where you are. What? No, what were we Sang talking about? Sanguinist. Oh, okay, we do. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know right. what's going on. Okay. Uh, I don't. Sanguinistas That's what it was. the third yeah. fucking. All right, uh, here we go. No, I know. No, uh, seriously, we. Um, I'm pretty sure she's sanguinista. If she's not, I'll eat crow in a couple of weeks, I guess. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure she is, and well, it's fine. It's fine if she is. I guess. Yeah, yeah it was the, fun that she. You know. that it was fun to watch like her manipulate. Uh, fuck, I guess it's Roman. I'm gonna call him Roman. If I'm wrong, I'm yeah. wrong. I'll, I'll fix it next week, I guess. But. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty obvious, and Nora's working with her, which kind of is odd to m figure out how she's going to figure into the end of the season. Um, you she's know, she's going to be the head bitch, I guess. But I mean, she really is. You know what's funny though? Like, she's manipulating everybody, and like the director does a really good possibly. job of well, possibly, yeah. And the director does is. a really good job of like you know capturing that, and you know when he, he pulls out the stake and he. And by the way, again, at this point, spoilers. Like, if you don't already know, it, it's just an unaligning thing. Like, just don't don't fucking watch the thing if you're not ready for spoilers. He pulls out a stake. And he's, like, going around the table. And he's, like, looking for possible, you know, insurgents or whatever. And uh, they close up on her at certain moments during his speech about uh, people that might not be with the... Yeah. Uh, Union or what do they call it? Not union. Authority. Uh, uh, no, not authority. Like uh, sanguinista. No, not sang the opposite of sanguinista. Uh, the, like oh, the, the, the coming um, together. It's a uh, what the fuck is it called? You know, like the reunion sort of thing where like humans and vampires can come together. And they close up on her in certain fuck, what is it called? portion. They, I think about that for a second. They close up on her in certain portions of like his speech. And it's pretty obvious that she's involved with it somehow. And she's a very good manipulator. Even Bill and Eric on the in the elevator ride last week were like, oh, she got to you too. Oh, you know, and like they were pretty surprised at the two of them. Like they both slept with her. And mainstreaming. You know, mainstreaming. That's what There it was. you go. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So, you know, like she's really good at this shit. And, uh, 
I don't care how long you've been doing this. If somebody wants to deceive you bad enough, they're going to find a way to do it. And she's doing a really good fucking job of it. And I just can't wait to see how that all plays off. I wouldn't be surprised, again, wild theory number three, if she had a backstory with Russell. And we're going to find out yeah. three quarter, uh, two yeah. quarters oh, of the way, uh, or two, by the way, two thirds of the way down the season. Jumping off that, three well, another thing I would love about what one thing I would love about this season so far is that Russell is one of the things I was looking forward to right so much. Yeah, we've seen four seconds of him, and this season has been really good. Yeah, which means it should elevate when he does show up in full on. You Shit's going to get real. Yeah, shit is going to get like and episode six. Yeah, that's yeah. when that's when like the hammer falls. Yeah, episode six like, is the halfway point. Yeah. You know, of the season, I assume he's going to Russell's at full strength. Preview, Uncle Frank. The preview, the preview next week um, showed what looks like it's going to be a Russell flashback to how he got out of the uh, the hole he was put in by Bill and Eric. So we're going to at least get the answer. And again, thank you. We're getting the answers to this shit fast. Mm -hmm. They are fixing that shit. Which, yep. also, I think... Um, let's see who else we could talk uh, The one thing with like Lafayette, also, this week, to go on that. Last week we had the demon face on. Uh, this week we kind of got like the next step of that, where it's not you know just we'll see that this week and then he you know he's sitting there going like oh no I keep seeing myself in the mirror looking like this like no this week he fucking fuck took his car he like jumped it you know and well, he yeah he's it, a he, bruja you know, yeah bruja bruja I think it's a brujo no they said no, brujo on the no, show no 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 considering it's Lafayette no. it's a bruja. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway. Um, Not really. Anywho. Yeah. That scene actually didn't completely work for me this week. It was just kind of you know he was so not into it last week, so you know so you know afraid of it this week. He just embraced it. I know he was angry, but he kind of embraced it pretty quickly. Um, and then he he um, you know kind of took it back by the end of the episode because he thought Sookie was actually hurt. So again, it was I'm, a whole, I'm sorry. It was a Wait. Whole... Time out. You hexed somebody's car. And you wanted him to crash, and then you figured out it didn't work, so now you're upset and sorry that it didn't... Technically, like, it wasn't him, I guess. He's going to hide behind that. Or the show's going to hide behind that. Not, no, 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 no. All right, fine. All right. But, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take reference in that, but... I don't know. It's, the whole thing is that at least things are moving as far as that goes. And at yeah, least... I never felt bored. And I've said no. that since the first episode, if you remember. Never in the like in the entire hour, I did not feel bored with what was happening, yeah. and that's been like the problem with these last couple of seasons. And it, minus season four, because again, I have not, not watched season four. Yeah, I watched like the first two episodes maybe, and I I lost interest. But like, I have not been bored with anything that's happened in the season at all, um, at all. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I guess with that, we'll get to the end of everything. Which again, with um. The Jason Fairy and Andy. Club. Yeah, Jay, the Fairy Club. Now, Jason and Andy, um, again, Andy's a character that last season got his own storyline, his own thing, and it was unnecessary. This year, he's a part of it with Jason mm. and with whatever else is going on. The whole thing, the, the, the fairy thing that felt like it was going to be bullshit at the end of season four, like, why the fuck do we care about Andy and this, you know, person? It paid off this week in a way where it made it more about... Um, Jason and the fact that Jason found out in this episode that, hey, his parents were killed by vampires. Sookie's parents were killed by vampires. That's big. Because this, remember yeah. season, what was it, season two or season three Jason? Season season three Jason. Season three Jason. Well, Jason every season has like a purpose. And it doesn't even have to be good. But like he has a purpose. And the purpose is something. The one season it was like, you know, I'm going to fuck girls. Okay, fine. The first season. And the second season it was, you know... I'm going to protect Find Sophie. God. Find God. Oh, no. That was season three, I thought. Season two is uh, Fellowship of the Sun, season two. Okay. So he's going to find God. And then what was season three? He was just, you know, kind of fucking I don't remember. slummaging around. Oh, no. Exactly. I'm going to be a cop. I'm going to be a cop. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. what it was. I'm going to be a cop, and I'm going to fix this panther problem. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. season, he seems to have a purpose. This season is going to be... I'm going to find out who killed my parents. And that's an awesome fucking yeah. thing to have. Much like who the fuck let Russell out. Much like all these like mysteries going on that they're yeah. questions that we know we're going to get the answer to this season. And they're questions that we look forward to. At least, I well, you and of, I... I kind of expect to have a few answers by the end. No, it's what I mean. No, we, we should get it. It's questions we look forward to hearing the answers yep. to. Which, again, 
it's impressive. It's impressive stuff. Yeah, they got zapped in the face at the end of the episode when they got kicked out. Doesn't matter. No, it's um, like pepper spray. It's like yeah, very pepper yeah, they're spray. Not, the thing with the show, I've again, the happen. problem with the show is that no one gets killed off, but... Um, no, 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 people got killed off. The fucking... The shapeshifters got killed off. Yeah, I know. Well, that Which, that was yeah. a classic shot. It was like, you know, people sitting at a table not doing anything. Sorry, I'm late. I was like, they're dead. Yeah, Check it's it. all over. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Take a look. But, um... Yeah, but as far as main characters go, we know when they're gonna kill, but however, the stakes, again, fucking pun not intended, they, you know, they seem higher this year, and the drama seems higher, and everything, mm. everything's working well. Really well. And, really uh, well. I I'm, enjoy I'm, a lot. I'm happy. And uh, I hope uh, it continues next week. I expect it to. I expect things to keep going well. I'm actually... Which I did not think I would say that at all. Sorry, this season at all. I'm so, interested yeah. in coming back and, like, watching the next episode. Yeah. Um, I really am. And, yeah. I, I, you know, like, for a year I hadn't been that way. Like, last year I couldn't give a shit about this whole story. Like, I couldn't care less about True Blood. Now I'm, like, I'm back to wondering what's going to happen from episode to episode. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I want to know. I like. I, I need to know what's going to happen. And if I don't watch it on HBO, I'm going to watch it on LetMeWatchThis.com, which is a totally... Legal. We have to stop. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want. Uh, or just let us know how much of an asshole we are. Yeah, that's yeah, fine, too. Yeah, that's cool. We if like you want that. to subscribe while doing that, too, that'll help. But mm -hmm. either way. All right. Uh... I'll be back doing this next week for the next one. Hopefully he'll be, he'll be joining me eventually for uh, another one at some point. Yeah? That's right. So, um, that's it. All right. Tuning out. Adios. See you later.